concerned about red velvet cupcake this candle is not new so it originally came out in 2014 if my memory serves me correctly but the throw was weak then so how is it 2021 and the throw still weak like you would think at some point that there would be some improvement on the candle that's my issue because y'all know i'm willing to give a candle a second and a third and a fourth try okay so a passing score for my scale is a 70 percent do you guys think red velvet cupcake pass let's get into it 100 points on the line 25 points for each category the notes the notes in this candle are lush red velvet cake cream cheese frosting and sweet vanilla all really good notes things that i love and unfortunately i am deducting 20 points and i'm going to be honest with you this candle lost points in every single category which is very rare normally it's very easy to get the maintenance points the notes point but baby okay now i only took off five points in the notes category which is not bad and i did that because i feel like the fragrance that they put in for the lush velvet cake needed to be more it's red velvet cupcake we want to smell that red velvet and then the cupcake part and i feel like that red velvet just wasn't enough they needed more velvet in that red velvet okay um so i did deduct five points there let's just go into the scent I do like the way the candle smells. I will say that off top. So for those who don't have the candle that wanna know what it smells like, yes, it does smell like a red velvet cupcake. So it's like a red velvet, I get a lot of vanilla and cream cheese. So kind of like a red velvet with maybe vanilla icing and cream cheese. So it definitely does smell like the cupcake. It's a nice foodie candle, it does smell good. And it is giving me a red velvet cupcake vibe, but that red velvet so kind of tying in with the note the red velvet needs to be stronger when you think red velvet cupcake we wanted all the red velvet and mixed with the cupcake so those two notes the scent needed to be prominent um and i'm just not getting as much red velvet as i think i should have gotten to me, when I smell this candle, the vanilla seems to be the strongest. The red velvet is not too far behind it, but I wish the red velvet part, the red velvet cupcake part would have been just a tad bit stronger. It was hard. That's why I only took off five points for the notes and five points for the scent because it's a good scent. It does smell good, but I needed more red velvet. I really, really did. Where things started to fall off with this candle is the throw. And unfortunately for throw, I had to give them 10 points. So already we are at just 50 points out of three categories. This candle should have been stronger than strong, strong, strong. I'm talking about Popeye the Sailor Man strong. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Y'all, this candle was supposed to be strawberry pound cake strong. This was not the candle to mess up on the scent or the throw. They were supposed to get this one right, especially if in 2014, it wasn't what customers wanted. And a lot of people complain in 2014 and beyond um, that the throw just was not there. On a scale of one to 10, the throw on this one was about a six for me, which is not it's terrible but for this candle it is terrible because this throw on this candle should have been a good eight and a half pushing towards a nine and that's just not what i'm getting i lit it in a medium room and it was uh, so the six that i'm giving them i had to move it to a medium room because when i would lit it in a large room it was over it wasn't hardly anything you couldn't hardly even smell it so definitely this is for more of a small and a medium room because that throw ain't giving what it's supposed to have gave. So we only at 50 points, y'all. Wait a minute now, what is going on with these wicks? Okay, y'all, so for my last category, maintenance, this is the determining factor on if this candle will receive a passing score of 70. I'm going to be honest, after the first burn, maintenance, they were getting 15. Why? Let's get into it. It's mushrooming out. I mean, first burn, it was just mushrooming really bad. The wicks were falling into the wax quicker than leaves fall off trees at the end of October. I'm telling you, it was some funky business going on. I was like, wait a minute. I had to go ahead and perform surgery and get my candle together, but I was not quite ready to give my score yet. Y'all know I do three burns before I give any score. So I trim my wicks and the second burn was a lot better. It is still mushrooming out, but it's not as bad. So I, I want to be fair. 
they redeem themselves on that second and third burn still mushrooming out but nowhere near as bad once i trim once i did trim the wicks gotta be fair so they did go ahead and get 20 points for maintenance but i will say these plaid jars on that first burn they seem in a little bit of funkiness going on <laughs> they are mushrooming out um and like i say before you can even put it out um, they're dipping off into the wax, which is expected because, you know, it can happen a little bit, right? I'm not, um, too hard on these candles. It was a lot of droppings. It, it was a lot, like a lot more than I've seen in any candle recently. So I'm wondering about these plaid jars. I don't know if I have any other plaid jars. I have to look and see, but, oh, actually I do. Caramel drizzle is lit right now. So I have caramel drizzle lit right now so this review will be up hopefully within the next couple of days because tomorrow i'm gonna have mary mimosa baby look at that candle look ooh, look how much i burnt that candle it could be saying a lot or it could be saying something else we gonna get into that tomorrow but on my 100 point scale this candle did receive 70 points so that's great uh, my feelings are still very hurt because i do not feel like it is giving what it was supposed to have gave this candle was supposed to be all the red velvet goodness and like i said although it smells great i felt like it should have just been a little bit more red velvet what do y'all think am i off the mark here or what y'all think the main issue was the throat it needs to be stronger so if y'all could do more red velvet cupcake fragrance and give it a stronger throw, this candle could be perfection. It literally might make one of my top 10 lists if y'all just made those small, small minor changes. Okay, so my two questions. Will I buy it again? I don't think so. I wouldn't mind having another one because then I can burn two at a time. And y'all know I like to burn two candles at a time. Your girl, I just, it's just something I love. But I don't think I can put money on this when it's just not giving me the throw I need. I got to smell my candles. And number two, do I recommend it? It's a good smelling candle. If you have a small to a medium room, then go ahead and get it. It smells good. It's not a bad candle. But if you're looking for something, you're burning in a larger room, you want a strong throw, then I say pass. Oh, so this was a hard one to do. Um, like I said, they lost points in every category, which just does not always happen. Um, what is your experience? Y'all let me know what y'all think. And I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.